What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to answer the oft asked question, can you shade zone coverage while setting zone drops? The answer is yes. But before we get into why that is possible, I'd like you guys to do me a favor, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Also make sure you guys check that notification bell so you get push notifications every day when we upload here in the morning with our long form content and in the afternoon with our short form tips. And also drop a comment below to help push this video out in the algorithm because I think it's gonna be very helpful for a lot of players that are looking to get stops while being able to run zone drops. All right, now that that is out of the way, let's talk about why zone drops are so important to this game. As we know, there are a lot of times in Madden where there are just simply some routes that you really can't guard without a zone drop being active. For instance, here, we're going to be running maybe a 25 yard flat, maybe a 30 to be able to defend a corner route. A lot of players like to go with Mabel coverage though. Maybe that's a zero, a five, sometimes a 10 yard curl flat that they want to play underneath of that. But the problem is sometimes you don't really want your zone that is playing the curl flat to really play the flat if you get what i'm saying so i'm gonna show you some tricks that you're really gonna like here so let's go ahead and get into a coverage that i've used for years in madden for the purpose of defending the sidelines which is basically cover three cloud we traditionally will see a street corner flat some sort of backside in route i'm in bunch x nasty gun here but the principles are going to play through now keep in mind that we have a 25 yard cloud flat and we know that if we back up that 25 yard cloud flat, this is going to allow us to defend a corner route. The problem is that because of that deep, deep sideline zone, we would basically be tasked with playing something else shallow in the flat underneath. We're gonna table that part momentarily. Let's just show you the blue zone, the cloud flat doing its job here. So we go ahead and snap this ball and you're going to see that he's going to be dropping out to 25 yards if i go to throw that ball into the sideline he's obviously going to be defended so he does a good job of taking away that deeper sideline window the problem is that this is wide open and a good madden player is going to throw this quickly off the line and rack it up the field and pick up 10 12 15 yards pretty routinely and this is why a lot of players have to go and run that mabel style coverage now again most players typically know their mabel coverage as basically a purple zone and a blue zone on the same side of the field so what you will oftentimes see is players do something kind of like this to set up their mabel they'll have a deep zone probably a half or a third over the top of a 25 over the top of a five or a ten so in this situation, this guy can still guard the corner route, Rebus. This guy's going to take the throw quick to the flat to the tight end. We go ahead and snap this ball, and you see that that's going to be a little bit better. He can make a break on that throw, hold it to a gain of about four yards. But the problem is that a lot of times with this style of coverage, it does leave the middle of the field open, and you don't necessarily want to have the entire seam wide open with this particular call. So I'm gonna show you guys the trick here where this allows you to talk about shading your zone. Let's quickly go back to the first coverage that we called, which was our cover two setup. And we kind of rolled our coverage from the backside. We played a, a third close center field from the backside and played Krause in an outside third. And this was kind of our coverage call. But as you recall, again, this quick throw to the tight end in the flat was a problem. I would like to at least take away that window of that quick flat. This is where shading your zones that don't have zone drops associated with them is very valuable. So I want you to take a look at this vertical hook zone. I'm gonna hit Y and then down to shade my coverage universally down. Now, keeping in mind that it doesn't matter if this is a hard flat, he's still gonna be playing the 25 yard depth I want you to watch how the zone changes the way it plays. So as it pertains pits to the flat, if I go and hike throw this into the flat, you see immediately that that guy is playing the vertical hook like a pseudo or a false hard flat zone. Take a look at this. So when we snap this ball, watch that slot defender, keeping in mind he's in a vertical hook. Notice how he jumps immediately outside with the flat release. This is going to prevent your opponent from throwing this. They're immediately going to start to look in the middle of the field thinking this is Mabel coverage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the ball. So I'm going to set up the exact same route combo again, street corner flat, maybe a backside uh, running back in route or something. 
and then we'll do whatever we want on the on the back side like just whatever i'll stress it with a, a seam or something doesn't really matter let's set up our exact same coverage so we roll our cover three to the bunch side and we shade down now take a look at this you're gonna have the flat taken away and then he's gonna drop back in the middle of the field and stay on the in route over the middle while the pocket basically degrades around the quarterback this tip is incredibly important because when you deal with a lot of players that like to spam the quick throws to the tight end in the flat or maybe run the verticals where the running back is releasing and kind of running over the middle this is going to be super valuable for you anytime the running back is kind of running an in route out of the backfield this is a great go-to so i'm going to show you another example where i'm going to call verticals here uh and this will kind of hammer home this idea so i've got this running back on an in route let's just use verticals like this and again with this i'm kind of worried about the uh potential of maybe a corner route so i'm playing my coverage you know however but again i'm shaded down so with this particular coverage this vertical hook is shaded down it's going to take away that quick throw to the tight end and then we're going to have this running back route if i go to throw it notice how he jumps it for an interception and we're going to be able to run this the opposite direction this is a huge way that you guys can neutralize the running back you got to remember a lot of these guys are 25 yard route on the sideline if that's not open check it to the running back well now you have the ability to shade down your hook zones while still playing your actual zone depth. So there is value to shading your zones. It's just the yellow zones that are gonna be shaded and it's gonna help kind of move the way players play around your user. I call it tethering your AI players to your user. I don't wanna guard the running back. I don't wanna guard the quick throw to the tight end. Let's shade down the vertical hook on the bunch side, which is gonna allow me to play more of the middle of the field and take those intermediate routes, whether it's a post or you know a crosser. Basically, we're saying guard the sideline, take away the running back check down. Those are the computer's responsibilities. The rest we can adapt and adjust to on the fly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna turn my zone drops off and I'm gonna leave match on. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna call a little cover four quarters action, which is something that a lot of players like to call against a variety of different offenses. But, you know, Bunch in general is very, very good at beating match this year. We talked about it actually just two days ago with the box check being broken, which by the way, if you guys are still here, make sure you guys check out my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. I've got fixes for all of the match coverage issues that are in this game, even after the patch where they hatch the match, there's still some things that you guys are gonna need to know. I've got my match game plan, and in the October vault, I have been hammering the advanced adjustments to match coverages to help you guys get more stops in this game. So you guys can unlock everything on the website for just $9.95 a month. Go check it out, best deal in the tip space. But we're gonna be running some match here. So this is where this is going to be pretty clutch, especially against kind of your Philly bunch where they have those exaggerated tight end wheel routes. If we take a look here in the Kansas City Chiefs offense, which you guys can also find on Gridiron, you guys are going to note that we have this wheel route combo that uh, is kind of similar to the Philly book with this tight end route. Now, if we were running standard match, this is actually not the worst call in the world. Um, I'll go ahead and snap this ball and kind of show you uh, you're going to see here that you're going to have this match and it, it does a pretty good job the post is kind of open but nonetheless pretty pretty decent so quarters plays out well let's say that we're playing match coverage and we're dealing with like the table route meta you know verticals everyone likes their verticals call but you know i kind of want to get a little creative with this i want to maybe play match and shape down but utilize a vertical hook to this player so that way i can pay my attention to you know the trips What's cool about this is that that vertical hook is going to jump outside on that table route to the running back. And it plays it kind of like it is a fake flat. Meanwhile, on the backside, we're playing pretty good match on this as well. You see that the three verticals are handled. The corner route is handled. Pretty good coverage. So you've got the ability to work these shaded down vert hooks within your match coverage call as well. So that's gonna help out a significant amount when you're dealing with a lot of these offenses, whether it's bunch or tight or trips where it's basically i want to throw my streaks we can match those i want to throw my corners we can zone drop those i want to hit my check down oh we can play a shaded down vert hook on those so you guys have it whether you're a zone drops guy or you're a match guy you've got something that can kind of muddy up the reads of your offensive opponents in ways that a lot of players actually aren't shading their uh, their hook zone so hopefully this helps you guys out 
If it did, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. We will see you guys tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zayn. Get the lab and good luck.